Hello guys, it's Pete from MyJuryBunch.com and today I want to talk to you about a simple thing that happens to me a lot lately. Um, this is a beautiful diver's watch from Citizen. It is an Echo Drive which means it has a solar panel underneath the display that charges a battery or a capacitor inside the watch. And once in a while customer will say, hey geez, the watch is not running. So there's two things that we can do to make sure the watch runs well. And if you leave an Echo Drive watch in a drawer for a month or so or more, you can sometimes run down the capacitor. In which case, to recharge your Echo Drive watch, what I would recommend is pulling the stem out to the second click. So there's this is a two position uh, crown, so you're going to pull it out to the second click and you're going to leave it on the kitchen counter where it's going to get enough light but not too much heat to charge the battery for maybe approximately four to eight hours and then when you push the crown in the watch should begin to work. Now you can see the hand just moved but it, it really isn't doing anything that's just a little bit of capacitance in the charging circuit. So we're going to open this watch up and see uh, whether or not the charging circuit works and it does work. I won't even go into details there. I'm going to show you what I found when I opened it up. Before we get started with the repair, I want to thank all my Patreon supporters for your help in making my channel possible. Please enjoy the perks that you get as Patreon supporters and thank you all. I want to give a shout out to Chuck who has progressed really well with his blender designs, 3D printing and casting of jewelry for his customers. Keep up the great work Chuck because your designs look fantastic. I also want to say thank you to Keith for his support and Keith was able to watch several of my watch videos and fix his own pocket watch. Also, if you are like me and always looking for a new adventure, Keith has a YouTube channel covering his adventures in Alaska. It's great. I've put a link in the description below for his channel called Metal Detecting in Alaska. Make sure you check it out. Now let's get started. So I'm going to use my handy watch opener kit. I'm going to open this up. And we are going to look inside and see what we find. And lo and behold, I'm just going to grab my handy little pointer here. Lo and behold, there is the place for the capacitor. Remember, this is not a standard battery for a watch. This is a rechargeable cell. And if you look closely, somebody took it out and probably threw it away, thinking they could just go buy a new one. And unfortunately, these are not readily available at CVS or any other pharmacy where you get other little batteries. So the customer brought it and said, well, I need a battery for it and how much is it going to cost? And I just want you to know these capacitors can cost up to um, $100 depending on what model you have here. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you the capacitor here. I'm going to show you what's different about it. If you look closely, if I can get this into focus. If you look closely, you'll see it has a welded tab to the uh, negative side and the positive side looks like a standard, but you'll see that it says Panasonic and you'll see an MT, in this case 920, which is the symbol for a capacitor. So in this case, it goes in a specific way and I'm going to insert that into the watch now. When replacing a capacitor in a watch, what you want to do is you want to look for the telltale signs in the watch. So for instance, again, let me grab another little pointer. Right here, uh, just at the point, you see a little copper tab, and that copper tab makes contact with the capacitor, as well as the upside. This makes contact with the plus side. So the negative contact is here, not here, and the positive side is the metal frame of the watch itself. Again, we look at the battery, and if we look at that under magnification here, if I can focus it in there, you'll see that little tab there. And that little tab is the negative connector, and that little tab is the important part of this battery, because without it, it will not make contact. Okay, so this capacitor is brand new, and I'm going to insert it into the watch the correct way, so that that little tab makes contact with the negative part, the negative contact on the watch. This can be a little tricky. These are not meant to be taken out, so the customer actually had to work this to get it out. And I've got that there. That's good. And now we just have to move these tabs over. Get that lined up. Once that's lined up, I'm just going to double check to make that make sure that screw is tight. 
and that battery contact screw is right here. It is tight. It is making contact. So I'm going to put the cover back on. And it looks like this capacitor needs a little bit of a charge, which is not uncommon. And I'm just going to take my flashlight and just give it a burst of light. And that should give us a little bit of an indicator whether or not the battery is charging good, which I know it is. So after a few minutes of light, I'm going to push that crown back in and you can see we're still running good and that is an indication that this is charging well and that the battery is going to hold and work up well. So guys, that's how you change a capacitor in a watch. Be very careful, like I've seen people order cheap Chinese knockoff capacitors on um, eBay and one of the issues I have with those is that they are not always good or they are made so that they don't quite fit properly. So go to a good watch supplier and make sure that you get the correct model. And if you're not sure, actually something like this, I would probably take to a citizen dealer where they can have it done for you or do it themselves on site. I hope that helps. Um, again, if your citizen Echo Drive ever stops working and you pull it out of a drawer because you haven't worn it in a couple of months, again, just pull the stem out to the second position. And when you do that, just leave it on the kitchen counter for a while and that should charge it up with enough sunlight to uh, to charge that capacitor. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing because my channel does uh, seem to grow the more subscribers I get and I appreciate all the viewership that you guys give me and it does help my channel grow. If you have any other questions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment below in the comment section. Take care guys and have a great day.